Has the feedback come back from your buyers saying that your house smells like dog? It could be in the furniture. It's Take a Tip Tuesday. This is an easy trick to get the smell of dogs out of your furniture. Hi, my name is Christina Smallhorn, your real estate whisperer, providing you the best real estate tips with a dash of humor. This week we're gonna be talking about the smell of your dogs. I know that they stink and you love them, but we have to get this out of the furniture. Because if you're having your house for sale and people keep walking in it and they keep seeing, saying the same thing, which is the house smells like dog, then it's most likely it's because of your furniture. So we're just gonna need some simple ingredients you probably have laying around your house already. One of them is uh, white vinegar. The next one is uh, baking soda, simple, simple. You're gonna um, need a little bit of just grated lemon or oranges. I had oranges laying around the house and this one's about going bad, so you, <laughs> I thought that would be perfect. And then, um, I don't know if you guys have ever used these like washing machine um, fresheners for your clothing, but they work really well and they're really great for getting the smell of dog out of furniture. This is the only piece of furniture I allow my dogs on and I do this about once a month just to get the smell off of it because it does stink. I put this on here so they won't get mud on it, but um, this is their chair and this is how we get the smell up so the house doesn't smell. And I use the same trick for all their bedding as well. And it does work. First, you're gonna wanna remove the dog. <laughs> and then you're gonna get all the stuff out of the uh, chair. You're gonna vacuum it all out and make sure that these guys don't jump on it. All right, Daisy, you're gonna have to get off. <laughs> out, out, out. Okay, so first you're gonna wanna take your uh, spray bottle. Two parts water to one part vinegar. And it's gonna be kind of stinky, but this will um, help eliminate the odors pretty well. And then you're gonna saturate the heck out of that chair that they lay in. Now that you have the hot water and the vinegar in the bottle, this is when I'm gonna grate some of this orange peel and put it in here. So that way it smells a little bit better than the freaking vinegar, because you know, it, it doesn't smell good. I mean, let's just be honest. And I would say a good heaping teaspoon. So, whew. and I just stick that right in the bottle and it dissolves pretty quickly because it's so grated. And I can still got stuff stuck on my finger. Ugh. Okay, and that's it. And I give it a good shake and it doesn't stink as much and it shouldn't clog up your um, spray bottle too much. All right, so now we're gonna go over there and spray that on all over. Okay, it's good and saturated. I'm gonna set the timer for 15 minutes and then we're gonna come back and do step two. Okay, so while we're waiting for that vinegar mixture, we have about 12 minutes left. Um, there's something for you to do in between so you can, uh, it's a time saver because there's gonna be a last step to this and that it's the thing that actually seals the deal and makes everything smell really good. Remember those, um, those smelly good things that I was telling you about at the beginning that make your clothes smell good? We're gonna melt some of these with some water and put it in here. So um, I'm, it's like a, a tablespoon, one tablespoon of these little uh, washing machine beads to some hot water here. And we're gonna put it in here and they're gonna melt. Okay, the timer's gone off and this is the next step. You see this little sieve? We're gonna sprinkle that all over the damp uh, chair here. So here we go. You may not have to do this step with a sieve, it's just that I live in a very humid climate and the baking soda gets kind of chunky and that's why I do it like this. And it does help spread the baking soda on there pretty good. So we're gonna let this sit and dry. Um, it's probably could take less than 12 hours. I have the windows open today, so um, it'll probably take less than 12 hours. And then we're gonna vacuum all of that up. My gum. It's done, but there's still that step that I remember I was telling you about earlier. So it doesn't smell like dog anymore. Like I would sit on this chair. But if you want it to like really smell nice, use those little spray things. So we're gonna spray that next. 
I think that if your chair is like super soiled and the dogs have a lot of oil stains, go ahead and have it professionally cleaned. But um, yeah, this definitely works. So let's go ahead and spray it now. Remember this is a tablespoon of those laundry beads that make your clothes smell good. And then the rest was warm water to melt them down. And this has been sitting overnight. You can use it within a few hours. It's, well, it's still warm, but I've left it out. So it's room temperature. Ta -da! Super easy. And it does not smell like a dog anymore. So you can have friends and family over. I have some other great cleaning hacks when you're putting your house up for sale. This was just for one if your dog has a smell and he's making your furniture smell bad. But if you have dog pee smell, I have a really great video that's been super popular. So you wanna go ahead and click the video over here. And then um, I have some cleaning hacks and I'll put a playlist right here. If you'd like to read some more buying and selling tips, you can go ahead and visit my website at yourrealestatewhisperer.com. My name is Christina Smallhorn, your real estate whisperer. And I tell you all this because you matter and your pet smells, they don't matter, they stink. <laughs> Please subscribe and hit that notification button. And don't forget to go ahead and watch these videos over here. Thank I love you. this girl. <laughs>